Hey, how y'all doing? This is Dan Arnold. I'm the owner of Suckle Busters and welcome to my outdoor kitchen. Today, we're gonna be doing birria tacos using beef. Think of this like grandma's Sunday afternoon pot roast, only better, only more flavorful. We're gonna be using roasted vegetables, chilies, and tender, tender, falling apart beef on corn tortillas prepared on the griddle. These are gonna be the best tacos you've ever made. This is somewhat of an involved recipe. It's gonna take you somewhere between four to six hours from beginning to end, and there's quite a number of ingredients. But I'm gonna simplify this for you into three easy steps. First off, we're gonna make our beef stock or our beef soup uh, with the chilies in there. Second of all, we're gonna have a uh, beef chuck roast that we're gonna prepare on the grill. We're gonna take that stock and that roast and combine those two into a Dutch oven and finish it off on the griddle with corn tortillas. Let's get started. Step number one is to prepare our beef. Today, we're gonna use chuck roast. You could use chuck roast which I prefer, you could use um, brisket, you could use short ribs, any of the fattier cuts of meat will work. We happen to like Nolan Rind beef, they're all natural and um, that's what we're gonna use today, chuck roast. The marbling in here is what you're looking for, that equals flavor when these cook out. Lots of nice marbling in this meat. So for this recipe, we're looking for a traditional flavor. Today we're gonna to be using 1836 beef rub, but you could use our Texas Gold Dust, uh, the beef rub, which we're gonna use, or our SBG. Any of those three seasonings would work great in this recipe. So let's just put it on. So we just wanna entirely cover this meat, all sides. Get a nice, even coating there. You can kind of press it in if you like. Then we'll do the other side. Nice, thick, even coating. Get the entire piece covered. And then we're even gonna do the sides. That one's ready. Now we're just gonna do the same with the other piece. This is four pounds of beef. Four pounds is gonna give you a yield of about 24 tacos. Okay, the meat is seasoned. It's time to take it to the grill. It's time to put the meat on the grill. Our Traeger's up to 300 degrees cooking temperature. We're just gonna slide it right on. We're just trying to get a smoke, slow smoke on the meat. So we're gonna let it ride at about 300 degrees cooking temperature for two hours. The first step in preparing the sauce is to prepare our chilies. Today we're gonna to be using eight Wajio chilies, three anchos, and three pasillas. We're just gonna de-seed them, and then we're gonna soak them in water to soften them up before we put them into our stock. Now that we have all the chilies de-seeded, we're just gonna add them to our pan. This pan we're gonna fill with water and we're gonna boil these lightly for about five or 10 minutes just until the chilies soften up. Now that all our chilies are in the pan, we take these to the grill. The second step for the sauce is to prepare and saute our vegetables. So we're gonna start with one yellow onion and we're just gonna add this to a cast iron skillet. We're gonna add one carrot, it's been chopped. And then we're gonna add three jalapeno peppers and one serrano chili. We're gonna put this on our uh, big green egg. It's rolling up about 500 degrees and we're just gonna saute these lightly. And we're just gonna sit them there and saute those for about 10 or 15 minutes. The next step is to add the tomatoes into the sauteed vegetables. We just give them a good stir. Put 
the lid back down to cook. Tomatoes have been rolling for about five minutes. Next, we're gonna add our garlic. Let's give that a good stir. We're almost done. Some vegetables are all sauteed. We're gonna deglaze the pan with about a cup of beef stock. We wanna make sure we get all that flavor incorporated into the vegetables. These are ready to pull and set to the side. We're gonna remove our sauteed vegetables from the pan and place them in the Vitamix blender. We're gonna add all the juice as well. Next, we're gonna take the chilies and add those to the blender as well. Once we have all the chilies in there, we're gonna to top off our blender with the rest of the beef stock. And then we're gonna run our blender. I like to start it off on a slow speed and then kind of work my way up. Make sure you hold onto the top of the lid here and then just go for it. Okay. So our meat's been cooking for about two hours. We're trying to get it to an internal temperature of 160 degrees. Perfect, this meat's done. So we're gonna pull it off and we're gonna hold it in our cast iron lodge. Now that we have our vegetables and our chilies all blended, we're gonna add them to our slow cooker. So we just take these. Remember we put the roast in here earlier and it's been holding. So we just pour that right over the top. Now, I don't want to waste any of that good flavor, so what I like to do is take the extra beef stock and just wash it out really good and get all that flavor into the pot. Just like that. Then we're going to add our mixture of our seasoning blend. We have cinnamon, cumin, one tablespoon of 1836, and three bay leaves. Just pour that in. Stir it up really good. Okay, put the lid back on. And then we're gonna put this back on an oven or stove or back on our big green egg and we're gonna let it slow boil for about two hours until the meat is just tender and falls completely apart. Folks, we're here. The birria meat and the sauce is ready. Our next step is to shred the meat and get it ready to prepare for the tacos. And look at that meat, it's just falling apart tender. So we're gonna take all of our meat out of the sauce, shred it up here, and then we'll go back to the griddle and finish these off. Now we got all our meat out here. It's cooled down just a little bit so we can handle it, so I'm gonna shred this beef. Just look how tender it is. You know what? I think I can just shred that with my hands. Okay. I'm just gonna chop this up lightly. Now that the meat's all chopped, we just take it over to the griddle and assemble it. Everything's all prepared. The last step is to assemble it on the flat top. So we're gonna take a corn tortilla, dip it into our birria sauce, get it nice and covered on both sides, take it to the griddle. We'll do a couple at once. While those are cooking, I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese to each tortilla. Don't worry if you're messy. That's part of the fun of tacos. And we're just gonna let these cook for a minute and let those corn tortillas get nice and crispy on the backside. As they're cooking, we're gonna add some of our birria beef right in the center there. All right. Then to finish off the taco, we're just gonna take a corn tortilla, real gently flip it over, press it down just a little bit, and let it keep cooking.
These take about a minute on each side, and then we'll move them to our serving tray. Okay, that side's all happy. We're gonna flip it over now to the other side. Oh, that's where the flavor is at, right there in that crust. These have been cooking about a minute. We're just gonna flip them over and check to make sure they're done. Oh yeah, perfect. Tacos are all done. Last thing we do is just garnish these and then we enjoy. I like to peel the shell back, add a little lime juice, a little cilantro. Always put a little onion on there. And if you want a little extra heat, I'd add some jalapenos. Now this taco is ready to go. Oh, one more thing. Dip it in that consomme. Mm. That is delicious. Really flavorful. The chili flavor comes through. Super tender. It's perfect. Well, thank you for joining us today. We appreciate you watching. Check out the video. Hit a like. Give us a comment. Make your own tacos and let us know how it goes. <laughs>